Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to enable assistive touch or assistant menu on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. So with this assistive touch, it comes into play in case your buttons, maybe your power button, uh, your volume button or your Bixby button are irresponsive or maybe they are faulty or they are not working, you can decide to turn it on and uh, use the power options if you want to or maybe adjust your volume, take your screenshots so you can decide to enable assistive touch and then so you can go ahead and enable assistive touch and solve that issue all right that's enough talk let's jump straight into it and i show you how you can enable the assistive touch on your samsung galaxy s8 or s8 plus all right welcome back so in this video as i've said i'll show you how you can enable assistive touch or assistant menu on your samsung galaxy s8 or s8 plus so this is your assistive touch so i will disable it and then i'll be back and i'll show you how you can and i'll show you how you can enable it all right so to enable assistive touch so what you need to do just navigate to your settings right here tap on the settings and then you look for accessibility it's right there once you tap on accessibility you look for interaction and dexterity interaction and dexterity and then you tap on that and once you tap on that uh, you toggle on assistant menu right here so make sure you toggle on assistant menu so they will prompt you that once you do that you will turn off your 100 mode so just tap on ok and there you go so once you toggle that on uh, you'll be you'll be able to see this option so before we tap on it just tap on assistant menu and with assistant menu you can customize it yourself if you want to so you can tap on that and then include the features that you want to include as you can see you can add brightness screen rotation bsb magnifier window so you can just you know drag you can maybe say let me add bixby so maybe let me remove so depending on what you want and once you're done you're good to go so you can go back and then you can also look at the assistant menu size so if you want you can adjust on its brightness or its transparency so if you want it transparent you can go ahead and you know however you leave it at that And then the size you can decide to have a large you know it says to be large medium or small i will leave it i will leave it at that i will leave it at that and if you want to you can go into move its settings and adjust them so once i'm done i can just go and exit once i'm done i can exit so this is your assistive touch so with your assistive touch as I said earlier, you can use this assistive touch just in case your buttons, maybe your power button or your volume button or your Bixby button are not responsive. Or maybe it could be your home button, you know, your recent button or your back button. So you can just tap on it. And as I've, as I've told you, you can have access to back, home and recent. There you go. You can now go to home. You can take a screenshot there you go and then you can also adjust the volume you can turn off your phone there you go so you can do a lot with this assistive touch you can go ahead and bring up your notification panel so you can go into the phone options can either power off a phone restart or emergency mode you can do casa you can use the casa if you want to as you can see 
all right so that's all that you can do with your assistive touch so if you want to turn it off just go back to your settings and once you're in your settings you can decide to turn it off and that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did and you were able to learn how to use the assistive touch or how to enable it give us a thumbs up give this video a thumbs up share the video and if you're new to our youtube channel make it a point to subscribe tap the notification bell so that you're notified whenever we release new videos thanks for watching see you in my next video bye bye